Hey guys, this is Log of One. Back again with the third part to my ultimate guide to KO Perico Heist. If you haven't gone through the first two parts of my ultimate guide, feel free to check them out. Links will be in the description below. So, after you are done with your scope out mission, your next set of steps will be to complete the prep missions. Starting with the first one, we see approach vehicles. You need to complete only one of them. And based on what you scoped out, you can decide what would be the best approach vehicle. I am aware that Kasaka and Longfin are community favorites, but I will mention tips and tricks for all of them to make it easier for you guys. Maybe spark some interest in using other vehicles. First up is the Kasaka. For this one, I will recommend you to either equip a saved outfit that has the scuba suit, or you can run up to this spot on the submarine near the Sparrow to equip a black scuba suit. Now, the issue I have seen most people struggle with is the entry and exit from the Meriwether submarine. And there are three different ways to do it. First way is to fly your sparrow to any nearby location, land it at a nearby spot and swim to the submarine. And after exiting the submarine, quickly swim back to the sparrow and fly back to the submarine. Second way is to use a Toreador or a Stromberg from your Moonpool vehicles. Now the issue with this way, is that you need to be very precise, when parking it under submarine, so it doesn't float back up to the surface. Not the best way, but it is a fun way to enter and exit the submarine. And the third way, which is by far the safest, and the fastest way to do it. Driving the submarine to the yellow checkpoint, submerging it close to the other submarine, and then engaging it in autopilot mode, so it doesn't float back up to the surface. It might seem slower to drive the submarine to the spot, but what it takes care of, is the time to travel back and provide safety underwater. Inside the submarine, it can get messy. So, I will recommend to use the assault shotgun. And as for sonar jammer, there are three locations, where you can find it. Two are downstairs, while one is upstairs. Take whichever route you prefer. It's your heist after all. But I will suggest, that players with low rank, and, low strength stat, to equip bulletproof helmet. I can suggest, that you can also eat snacks, while aiming down sights, but PC players apparently cannot do that, unless using a controller. So, another quick tip I would like to suggest, is that there are health, armor and ammo crates around the submarine, that you can shoot open, while searching for the sonar jammer. Now moving on to the alchemist approach vehicle. The first part is to steal it from a Zankudo hangar. This mission becomes easier, if you equip, and activate the night vision goggles, before entering the hangar. And for players with low rank or low strength stat, I would suggest using BST, for safe measure, before entering the hangar, as these enemies have perfect accuracy. For this mission, there are three spawn locations for the laptops. Two at the bottom level, and one inside the hangar office room. So, in order to maximize your chances of success, you should start by running straight to the ones at the bottom level. If you don't find it, then turn around and run upstairs. And if you are fast enough then, by the time, generator kicks back in, you will have visited all three spawn locations. However, no matter how much in stealth you remain, after you complete the hack, all Meriwether guys will spot you. At this point, if you are downstairs already, then you can just run towards the alchemist, and, spam the input button or input key to enter the vehicle. Because, for some reason, while the generators are off, there is no animation to get inside. You just spawn inside the alchemist. However, if you are upstairs, I will recommend to take cover, and, clear out the hangar first. Rest is simple enough. Second mission can be either to steal a rogue, or to take out the lone sharks. Pretty simple missions. For lone sharks, I would recommend using bulletproof helmet or BST. Moving on to Velum approach vehicle, I really can't suggest any tips or tricks, that would make this prep any quicker. Maybe if you are on PC, you can job warp to the spot, as it will be much faster to reach the VLAN, than on consoles. If you would like, I can explain how to job warp mid prep missions, in the next video. Feel free to comment below, if you would like to watch a quick tutorial. Especially with a phantom wedge. Moving on to the annihilator stealth, we again have two parts for this approach vehicle like the alchemist. The first mission can be either to steal the helicopter from Meriwether headquarters, or from Riyadh. Both missions have anti-air defenses, however, disabling the defenses on the yacht, is much easier than destroying the ones at Meriwether headquarters. And another thing, that makes the Meriwether mission even harder, is that you are supposed to destroy two waves of Valkyries before being able to deliver the helicopter to the nearby hangar. I would recommend, that you destroy them first, before heading towards the airport hangar for delivery. 
Second part for it is similar to the Alcanist, and for some reason, this prep is shared between the two approach vehicles. Moving on to the Kurtz patrol boat. Oh boy. Where do I start with this approach vehicle? This is the worst approach vehicle of them all. It has nothing unique going for it. It doesn't offer any advantage during the finale, and its prep mission will always take about 8 to 10 minutes to complete. Obviously, you can make it a little quicker, little easier, and, little less boring by using a cargo bob. But even that is slow as hell. Funnily enough, the prep mission for patrol boat, has two variants. First is to steal it from Meriwether headquarters. And this is a real annoying mission. If you have a sparrow, an oppressor mark 2 and a cargo bob then it will get a little easier. Sparrow to clear out the area, Oppressor Mark II will be used to reach the security panels and main terminal quicker, and finally the cargo bob can be used to pull the patrol boat from checkpoint to checkpoint. Technically, you don't need the Mark II or the cargo bob. But if you own them, then I would suggest that you use them. The other variant of this mission is to steal it from Alamo C. Now this one is less annoying but more boring, as the drive to Zankido alone will take 7 to 8 minutes easily. So, the way I like to do, is to eliminate the enemies, wait for the boat to arrive, shoot one missile at any moving boat you see. But do not enter the boat. The main reason is that, you need to skip certain intermediate objectives of this mission to make it less annoying. Otherwise, four waves of two frogers each will spawn. Now, at this point, you can spawn your cargo bob or steal one from the Zankudo hangar. And don't worry, as you do not get a wanted level during most heist prep missions. If you get lucky, you can find one at Mackenzie Airstrip, or Sandy Shores Airfield as well. And now simply take the cargo bob at the marked location. Drop it off, and then get inside. The finale checkpoint will be ready, and you can deliver the boat without issues. And now finally, the long fin approach. Now there are a few ways, that you can approach this. If you own a personal phantom wedge, this prep becomes extremely easy. You can spawn it from the interaction menu, hook it to the trailer, and, drive it to the docks. If you do not own one, then this prep can take a bit longer, as Phantom Wedge, located by Pavel, is protected by a technical, that has a powerful gun at the back. If you shoot a missile at it, half of the time, it will also blow up the wedge, so not worth the effort. Just take the other truck, and deliver it to the docks. Now, once you arrive at the docks, you still need to get rid of the cops, and there are three ways to do so. First is by blowing yourself up. Second is by using a heist apartment invite. This will also teleport you to the apartment upon completion of the mission, which can come in handy, especially for console users. I would recommend, setting up a Fleeka job heist at any Del Perro apartment, as it is very close to the shoreline. If you do not know how to do this, feel free to ask it in the comments below. I can make a video as well, if you guys want. Moving on, the third way, is by using the old glasses trick. As soon as you see, that cops have lost sight of you, you equip or unequip glasses. This reduces wanted level to 2 stars, and by the time you reach the docks, you will probably lose the wanted level. Moving on to the equipment preps, we see there are 4 types of preps. First one is demolition charges, and there is nothing I can suggest to make this prep any quicker. Second one is the fingerprint cloner. Now, for this prep, you can either go in guns blazing, or you can turn off the power using the panel outside. Either way, once inside, you can simply ricochet a grenade from your grenade launcher, and then quickly take cover behind these boxes on the right. Moving on to the third prep, is the cutting torch prep. Here I would recommend that you to equip the hard hat. This will let you walk around undetected, to freely search for the cutting torch. However, if you stay in the cones of vision of the guards for too long, then you will be detected. So be careful. And the final equipment prep will be either safe codes prep, or the plasma cutter prep, based on your primary target. In case of safe codes prep, I would recommend to first use a sniper, and go for a collateral on the two guards standing outside. Much easier than shooting with any other silence weapon. You can even use explosives like sticky bomb, RPG or homing launcher. Once inside, use any weapon you like, but try to take out the main target first, as it has a lot more health, and he uses a shotgun which will drop your HP instantly. You can even try stone hatchet, but sometimes, it doesn't lock on to the target in time, so it's a bit risky to use. Once you get the codes, then there are three ways to complete this prep. First is to exit the casino and lose the cops. Second is to let the guards kill you, and prep will automatically complete, with you spawning outside the casino. Now, the third option is to blow yourself up, which can lead to some weird spawns. 
inside to the casino, outside the casino or even in the news headquarters. Plasma cutter prep is pretty simple. The only thing I can suggest is that you can take the pick of the board across the room. Next up is the weapons prep. And there are two types of missions. First is the office prep. It might not look like it, but you can do this mission completely stealth. You can kill all the guards or just a few. Completely up to you. You can also use the stone hatchet as it is one of the best weapons in the game for close quarters combat. Second is the infamous Meriwether HQ prep. And there are four unique ways to deal with this prep. First one is the community favorite. Not actually do the prep. Either destroy the helicopter with a guided missile, or any weapon of your choice, or just change sessions. The issue is that, you have to keep doing this, over and over, till you get the office prep. It can be just once. Or it can be as many as seven times. I am not joking. That's my personal record for blowing up the Valkyrie. Second is how the game tells you to. Third is a bit clever way by not actually following the Valkyrie. You can check the map and see in what direction Valkyrie is heading towards. If it is going right, then the Avenger will spawn at the power station. If it is going in the middle, then then the Avenger will spawn at Grape Seed near the Mackenzie Airstrip. If it is going left, then then the Avenger will spawn at Sandy Shores behind the clothing store. So instead of following the helicopter, you can take care of Meriwether, where the Avenger spawns, and then just wait for the Valkyrie to arrive. Try to maintain a distance, as the Valkyrie starts firing the explosive turret, if you get too close. Reach it from behind, and fire a missile, as soon as the Valkyrie icon changes from a blue helicopter to red markers. One thing I would like to mention is that, if you are playing on PC, and you drop warp during this prep mission, then you will not able to complete this prep sometimes, as it will kick you from your Avenger after a couple of seconds, so just use the good old fast travel, and start from Elysian Island. Finally the fourth way, which is my favorite, is to sit as a passenger in the Valkyrie helicopter. For this one, just approach the Valkyrie from the side, to avoid hitting the yellow checkpoint. Kill the passenger, remove the pilot, get in, get out and run away for a bit. At this point, if the pilot doesn't get back in, the shoot an atomizer near him. Wait for him to get inside, and now you can sit back, while the Valkyrie flies you over to the spot. You can either operate the minigun or the explosive turret at this point. I would recommend everyone to try this out, at least once. Moving on to the disruption preps. And as mentioned in part 1 of this series, they are not really worth the time and effort, unless going in aggressive. Alright, I have gone through all preps, and shared as many tips and tricks as I could, which hopefully helped you guys. And I will see you guys in the next video, where I will be going through all approaches for the finale, and share some tips and tricks that can hopefully make your life easier.